This video shows you the truth about Tyler Harrow. The Heat's 20-year-old 13th draft pick from 2019 passed Dwayne Wade for the most points ever by a Heat rookie in a playoff game, and ever since his days as a Blue Devil at Kentucky, he's been coming through under the bright lights. So you're about to see how Harrow's molded into one of the better young players in the NBA, and how good he'll ultimately become. First, Ronto gets the speak shout out. He says the most special part of the 2020 Lake Show has to be the person they're dedicating this to, the Black Mamba. Yearly awards for the top five on the Speaks board. Thanks for every answer. The question's coming up for next video. Shout out right quick to be friends and to stay updated on NBA content as well as my channel. Make sure you're following me on Instagram at dflowhoops because at the age of only 20, he dropped 37 in game three of the Eastern Conference Finals. Maybe you've just recently become a believer in the eliteness of Tyler Harrow. The man now has the best-selling jersey in the entire NBA, but Miami's rookie sensation has been aware for a long time that he was one of the best rookies in his draft class. On April 29th, Tyler said that if it wasn't for his ankle injury, which kept him out 18 of the Heat's 65 games before the league suspension, then he would have been one or two in the Rookie of the Year race. And who can deny that statement given how Harrow outscored veteran teammates Butler, Adebayo, and Dragic in Game 3 and his 19-6-4 averages in the Conference Finals. Knowing he was the best player on the floor in Game 3, Bruh. Tyler went 14-21 of 21 from the field and made 5 of his 10 three-pointers. Dwayne Wade reacted to Harrow breaking his franchise record of most points from a rookie in a playoff game, and Wade didn't seem too upset. Dwayne set that record 16 years ago in 2004, back when he was beasting as a young phenom and proving himself as one of the best players in the league. We all know the legendary career D. Wade would go on to have, so that makes you realize how impressive Tyler's 37-point outing really was. Additionally, it makes you question how good this kid can become. ESPN's Dan Lebetard said the Heat organization think Harrow can eventually be as good as Devin Booker, and while that's not an awful comparison for Harrow's ceiling, He's already doing things D-Book hasn't even come close to, and he's barely got any experience under his belt. Whether catching and shooting or pulling up off the dribble, there's no doubt Tyler's an elite level perimeter marksman. He has every quality to be a top shooter of his generation, from his 6 foot 5 frame that lets him rise up over the majority of perimeter defenders, or the elusive routes he takes off the ball to get open. We're looking at a player who's capable of being one of the best 3 point shooters of this decade. However, he's much more than just a pure shooter. Handling the rock after coming off a screen, Harrow can dominantly create offense off the dribble for himself, as well as his teammates. Harrow's an extremely underrated passer, and his playmaking potential is off the charts. Additionally, like we're seeing from another Kentucky product in my fellow Canadian Jamal Murray, Tyler has the ability to pull up for jumpers either off one foot in the lane or from deep range. Plus, Harrow's proving that he can get into the paint with a lot more explosiveness than scouts expected him to have entering the league. When you combine his IQ and talent with his veteran-like poise in the clutch, that's been more than enough for Tyler to earn the respect of one of the NBA's best players in Jimmy Butler. Butler took Harrow under his wing from the moment he was drafted, inviting the rookie to his infamous 4am workouts and praising Harrow's drive and confidence to any media outlet that would listen. If you hadn't seen in the Heat's practice after going up 3-1, Butler was rocking Tyler Harrow's jersey from high school. And looking at his mixtape from back then, Harrow was absolutely cold in his tenure at Whitnall, so it's not difficult to see why Jimmy was rocking those threads. I could sit here and break down for you the admiration Butler has for his rookie, but here's the most recent praise the three-time All-NBA player Jimmy had for his young teammate. He knows what he's capable of, and he just plays with so much confidence, and um, he's been doing it all year long, so to him, it, there, there, there's no pressure or anything. He's just going to keep playing basketball the right way. Did you guys think he was capable of this? Yeah, without a doubt. We, we know anybody on our roster um, that they're capable of that. It was his time. I hope it's his time the next game as well. Um, it could be Duncan. I hope it's Duncan. It could be Bam. It could be anybody. Um, but he definitely willed us to a victory tonight. He just wants to win, so he's going to continue to get better. Obviously, he's a rookie, but I'm telling you, whenever he's out there on the, on the floor, the, the swag that he plays with, the, the moves that he makes, you think he's been in the league for 10 plus. Earlier, uh, that, uh, earlier in the year, Miami's gonna love him, they're gonna fall in love with him. I know that they are, I know that they have, and uh, he's, he's key to us going forward for a lot of years to come. 
Also, Harrow said he's driven to help his friend Mr. Buckets get over the top and reach his first finals ever. And by scoring the most points since Magic Johnson from a rookie 20 and under in the playoffs, Tyler seems to be doing a pretty good job of assisting Butler on his way to the promised land. 17 of his 37 Game 3 points were in the fourth quarter, so that just goes to show you how unafraid and relentlessly clutch this man is. If you've been tuning into this series, then you're witnessing one of the greatest playoff runs from a rookie ever. It takes years for even the best of all-stars to adjust to the defensive intensity and bright lights of the NBA playoffs. But the pressure doesn't get the best of Miami sharpshooting phenom. He craves the big shots, so that makes the sky the limit on his potential. With Tyler's cold-blooded mentality and everything he has in his bag offensively, I think he develops into a perennial all-star for the Miami Heat. Products from the college basketball powerhouse Kentucky are taking over in the NBA playoffs. Anthony Davis, Rajon Rondo, Bam Adebayo, Jamal Murray, and Tyler Harrow were all Wildcats and played under John Calipari. And what you can't not love about Harrow is that he's grateful for his alma mater to this day. This quote came after his legendary Game 3 performance. I'm just going to bet on myself, Harrow said. I've been doing that my whole life. I went from a small town of Milwaukee to Kentucky. Nobody thought I would survive there, and nobody thought I would survive here, so at the end of the day, it's just betting on myself. If you're a Heat fan, or really any type of NBA fan, whether casual or passionate, here's the truth about why you should be excited about Harrow's potential. When you look at every other player going off from the Big Blue, other than the Blue Arrow, Jamal Murray, who's looked like MJ in these playoffs, they've all been named to an all-star team. Unbelievably, Tyler's still a rookie, and even though he's still a tad raw with his offensive skills, he's still finding a way to be extremely efficient and set records in the conference finals. Kentucky clearly is developing their players better than any program in college basketball, but that's another video for another day. Right now, I want to know if you think Tyler Harrow will be an all-star, or am I overhyping him? Best answer gets next video shout out after my intro. This was D-Flow. You're the best for tuning in, and I'll see you next video.